live in Phoenix, Arizona, where it's hotter than Satan's asshole for three months out of the year, but I still have to get in my physical activity, and my favorite way to do that is going for walks. I have my big old sun hat, my hydration backpack, and my shades, and I've tried wearing portable neck fans, but when you're walking on the surface of the sun, the neck fans don't do much good. They're basically like blowing hot air. Imagine opening your oven and sticking your head inside of it. That's what it feels like. So these neck fans are proving pointless. I did a little searching online and I discovered something called a portable neck air conditioner. And let me tell you guys, this thing is not cheap. <laughs> This is called the Coolify 2, and let me open it up and show you what's inside. Can we talk about this fancy packaging? I think about half the price of this item went towards this packaging. And look at this. So they give you this handy little carrying case with like a keychain on it. What? I mean, this thing is kind of heavy. I wouldn't want to walk around carrying it on this thing all day long. Let me show you what's inside. And this is how the item comes. Got a fancy little Velcro strap here. And then here's a little cover. And inside here is your USB charger cable. It does not come with a wall outlet, but by now you probably have 50 of them in your house already. And then inside this thing is like, I don't know, what is that, a coaster? And it also has a little instruction manual and then a little like warning card. <laughs> So now let's talk about this portable neck air conditioner. First thing we're gonna do is hit the little power button right here. It has three different modes. To go through the mode, you're gonna press this button here. It has cooling. And then if you hold it down for a second, it'll switch to the heater. That little ding means it's on hot. And these plates get hot really fast. Definitely exercise caution when using the heater mode. And then there's also a regular fan mode. And it's really easy to control when you have it on. You can just press the button and go through the cycles. I was really hoping that this would blast my face with cold air, kind of like when you're standing in front of an air conditioner. And unfortunately, it does not do that. The breeze is very gentle. I mean, you could see it barely blows my hair. So what makes this portable neck air conditioner different is that it kind of works with your body temperature. It uses these plates in here that sit on the surface of your skin to cool you down or warm you up. It's like a similar effect to putting like ice packs or a compress on your neck. This is what sucks in the air and then it comes out here to blow on your neck. It cools your neck off nicely and it gives you a little bit of a cool breeze right here. But the problem is, is that you only feel it here along your neck. It doesn't really blow in your face. When you're walking and you're sweating, this air conditioner is not as effective as I would like. The longer I wear it, the more used to it my skin gets. So I often find myself just kind of twisting it. And then every time I twist it, it feels nice and cool again. And also, like, I can kind of get the fan to blow on my face a little bit when, it, when I wear it up front. But obviously, this looks really stupid. And it's not the most comfortable. So I end up just kind of messing with it a lot during the course of my walk. And while I may not look that cool wearing my fancy new air conditioner, it still doesn't stop guys from asking me if I need a ride. Guys. Please don't do this. My walks typically run from about an hour and a half to two hours, and I have yet to run out of a charge. It does get really low, and at the end of my walk, I do have to charge it up for a little while, and it's good to go for next time. Because of the placement of this piece, you have to kind of sit it down here, which has the number showing upside down. This model costs about $200, and the lower end model was about $150, and the only difference is basically the battery life. Is it worth it? I really think it's a matter of opinion. Would I call this a game changer? No. Is my life better because this is in it? Yeah, and if I didn't have it, I would miss it. But I definitely don't think it's worth 
$200. It's definitely made walking in the Phoenix summer heat a little more tolerable. If you're interested in getting your own neck air conditioner, I will put a link in the description below. Do you think something like this would be a game changer? Leave me a comment and let me know. And as always, thank you so much for watching.